Toronto is celebrating the return of an iconic superhero to the big screen this weekend. A special display has been set up at the Eaton Centre for the Canadian premiere of The Batman, starring Robert Pattinson. The Colony of Bats installation is there through Tuesday. And time now for a look at some of the new films that are out this weekend. Live to film critic Richard Krauss for more on that. Speaking of The Batman and the promotional mm -hmm. uh, display there at the Eaton Centre, is it any good? It's really good. Uh, here's the thing. A okay. couple of things you should know. So it's three hours long, which when I first heard that, I was not excited about the length of the movie. I've been complaining about how long movies are lately. Three hours long does not feel like it. And secondly, Robert Pattinson takes over from Ben Affleck in the role of Bruce Wayne slash the Cape Crusader, Batman, and does a really good job. It's a different Batman. This is the Batman who has only been on the job for a couple of years. He's still figuring things out. Uh, the police don't really know whether he's a friend or foe. Uh, the people of Gotham City don't quite know what to make of him just yet. Uh, but when the Riddler starts killing some of the uh, power brokers of Gotham City, Batman becomes involved and slowly this detective story emerges over time that involves Catwoman, played by uh, Zoe Kravitz, and there's the Penguin, played by Colin Farrell, and other various sundry uh, good guys and bad guys here. And I liked this movie. I liked that at the beginning of it, <clears throat> Batman is all about vengeance. He's all about getting revenge for uh, the deaths of his parents. But by the end of the movie, and this is not a spoiler, he's had a change of heart. And he begins to realize that if you're going to make a difference in the world, you have to offer people hope. And I think that's a real zeitgeisty message for right now when the world's in a bit of a mess. Uh, it's coincidental, I'm sure, but the Batman uh, does a good job of conveying it. So I gave it four out of five stars, and it's in theaters right now. Mm. Okay, good rating. What about Fresh? <laughs> Fresh is on Disney Plus, and this is that time in the review when I remind people that not everything on Disney Plus is for kids. Uh, this is not Mary Poppins, nor is it The Lion King. This is a Sebastian Stan movie where he plays a charming, mysterious stranger who meets uh, Noah, a woman named Noah, played by Daisy Edgar Jones. Uh, in a grocery store, they hit it off, they go out on one date, it goes extremely well. So they decide on a little weekend getaway, a romantic weekend getaway. Uh, from that point on, I will tell you nothing, because uh, what is revealed is that he's not all that she thought he was. And this is a movie that, uh, after the first half hour, which is kind of like a romantic comedy almost, uh, it turns much darker. There are still funny moments in it, uh, but this is a horror film. Sebastian Stan has given his meatiest role in years uh, in this, and we know him, of course, from the Captain America movies and from Pam and Tommy, where he plays Tommy Lee. Um, he's a very good at conveying uh, the two sides of this one character. So I gave Fresh, which is now in Disney Plus. Remember, not for kids, even though it's on Disney Plus. I gave it three out of five stars. Okay. Uh, what about Night Ride? Where can we watch that? This one's on VOD, so wherever you legally rent or download movies, you'll be able to find Night Ride. And this is an Irish movie about a criminal doing that, you know, typical one last job before they uh, walk the straight and narrow. They just need to make some money so that they can change their life. Uh, the thing that makes this kind of interesting is that it is shot in one take, one continuous take. A lot of movies claim that they are. This movie actually is. And it adds tension. Uh, it is kind of a you are there sort of thing. Sometimes feels like a bit of a documentary that you're watching. Uh, but I like this. Good performances, uh, an anxiety-inducing soundtrack, and uh, just a, sort of some interesting characters uh, make this movie a little bit more interesting than the logline of the plot would lead you to believe. So I give this one uh, three and a half out of five stars. It's called Night Ride, and you'll find it on VOD right now. Okay. Uh, Richard, thanks so much. Lots of options there for our weekend. Have a good one. Thanks for having me.